हेलो फ्रेंड्स माय नेम इज चेतन वाधड़िया एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एमसीक्यूज ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड मैथमेटिक्स सैंपल पेपर इश्यूड बाय सीबीएसई बोर्ड सो लुक हियर दिस दिस आर द क्वेश्चन वन बाय वन वी आर गोइंग टू सॉल्व एंड आई एम गोइंग टू गिव यू द आंसर आल्सो विद सॉल्यूशन इफ देयर इट इज पॉसिबल क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 द डेसिमल रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ 11 अपॉन लेट मी राइट डाउन हियर 11 अपॉन 2 रेज टू 3 into 5 will be will be will a terminate after one decimal terminate after two decimal places terminate after three decimal places or d not terminate so here you can see 2 raised to 3 into 5 so we know we have to multiply this with 5 square and 5 square. so what will happen 11 into 5 square upon 2 raised to 3 into 5 raised to 3 directly 10 raised to 3 without looking also also directly we can give the answer of that you have to see the highest power of 2 and 5 for degree here degree is 3 so after 3 decimal this will terminate directly also we can do but i want to show you the answer that's why i done here 25 into 11 you can do and then in the denominator 10 raised to cube 10 raised to cube means whatever answer will come we have to keep 3 decimal before that last one so it directly after this will terminate after 3 decimal or from this only also we can predict that this will terminate after three decimal places now moving towards question number consider the following frequency distribution of the height of 60 students so total 60 students are there height 150 to 155 cm and so on up to 180 cm height and the number of students are 15 13 10 8 9 5 five. the upper limit of the median class in the given so for finding the upper limit first we need to find out the cumulative frequency how we are finding directly 15 so here 15 now 15 plus 13 so here 28 then 28 plus 10 38 38 plus 8 means 46 46 plus 9 45 and 50 so direct so here the sum is 50 i think sorry here it's 55 and here it's 60 so in hurry i this is 55 and 60 so the sum is 60 and then we need to do n by 2 that is 60 by 2 that is 30 n by 2 is 30 now we have to see where 30 will come in this cumulative frequency 30 will come between 28 to 30 now we have to go for the next class so this is your median class okay directly you can write in the straight way also but i am showing you in this way only directly because we are having this so directly this is your median class this is your lower limit and this is your upper limit 165 they said the upper limit of the median is 165 so here option is a 165 the upper limit you can see how we have done this. okay this is so simple let us go for the next question the lcm of smallest two digit composite number and smallest composite number so first of all you should know what is composite number if we are getting factor from more than 2 then that number is called composite number and smallest two digit number that is composite that is 10 10 is the smallest two digit number which is composite because its factor are 1 2 and 5 3 and the smallest composite number means one is two digit smallest composite number and one is only composite number that is four because one is the unique number two is uh, prime number three is also prime number four four is composite number now we need to find out the lcm so factors of 10 is 2 into 5 factors of 4 is 2 into 2 so for finding lcm first two is there so in both so two then remaining this is only two and this is only five so the lcm they told you to find out lcm not hcf so you have to be careful first you have to select the common and then remaining comes one by one so here 5 2 are 10 2 are 20 so lcm is 20 you have to see in option yes we are having 20 is your lcm let us go for the next question question number 4 for which values of p will the line represent by the following pair of linear equation be parallel parallel we know when the lines are parallel when a1 upon a2 is equals to b1 upon b2 but is not equal to c1 upon c2 
so this should not be equal and this both should be equal so you can say 3x 3x by 6x so 3 by 6 means 1 by 2 that is a1 upon a2 here minus 1 by minus 2 that is we can take cancel so here also 1 by 2 so this is same now we have to make this difference if i will ten, take 10 here instead of p, p then that all three will be equal we want this should not be equal so here instead of 10 any number can come so here instead of 10 so here you can see all real value except 10 so this is the all real values except 10 if you will put 10 then again minus 5 by minus 2 so that will also become 1 by 2 so here we want to make this equal but this should not be equal so here we should not get 1 by 2 so in 10 we are getting 1 by 2 so 10 should not come other all will work so this way we can solve this one now moving towards the next question in triangle abc right angle at c let me draw this right angle at c this is a and this is b then the value of sec a plus b means they are talking about angle this is 90 degree we should know that the sum of a and b should be also 90 because by some angle property the sum is 180 180 minus this then you will get the sum of this 90 therefore we should go for sec 90 degree now sec 90 degree you should remember the table this is converse of cos cos 90 is 0 and sec 90 is 1 by 0 and 1 by 0 means not defined term i had made separate video of how to why hard this by trigonometric table trick so you can watch that video also now moving towards the next question question number six if sin theta plus cos theta is equals to root two cos theta actually i had solved this sum in my previous video about uh, sums of only trigonometry as the sample paper in that i had solved this here we are getting answer this so you can watch that video this also i had solved in that uh, part uh, means in that video let us go for question number eight the point which divides the line segment joining the point eight comma minus nine and two comma three ra in ratio one is to two so here this is your x1 y1 x2 y2 and here this is m m1 is one and m2 is two so we are having one formula that x is equals to m1 x2 plus m2 x1 upon m1 plus m with the help of this you can first find out let us go for that 1 into x2 that is 2 plus m2 that is 2 into 2 into x1 that is 8 upon m1 plus m2 that is 1 plus 2 so directly you will get 2 plus 16 by 3 so 18 by 3 6 here you will get coordinate of x6 now y so y will be directly m1 y2 plus m2 y1 upon m1 plus m2 so what you will get here 1 into y2 is 3 plus 2 into y1 is minus 9 upon 3 1 plus 2 so here you will get let me write down here 3 minus 18 by 3 so minus 15 by 3 minus 5 so here the coordinate of the point is 6 comma minus 5 now you have to see in which quadrant this will come look here let me go so these are the four quadrant this is 1 this is 2 this is 3 and this is 4 and this 6 comma minus 4 will come in this fourth quadrant here this is positive and this is negative so positive negative will come here so this is your answer quadrant number four so this way we can solve this one now moving towards the next question that is finding the question nine the distance of the point p minus three comma minus four from the x axis is we need to find out let me show you this is your you can say graph and here minus 3 minus 4 will come somewhere here minus let me go this part only here somewhere so minus 3 and here minus this is minus 4 
this is minus now they are telling you what is the distance from the x axis of this point so this is the distance generally what happens student write, write this minus 3 or wrong this, this for this distance you need this distance and that is minus 4 but distance cannot be negative so your answer will be plus 4 only here the distance of um, this point from the x axis is 4 centimeter or 4 unit you can take okay now moving towards the last question if m comma m by 3 means if a is m by 3 comma 5 is the midpoint this is the midpoint of the line segment joining minus 6 plus uh, minus 6 comma 7 and r is equals to minus 2 comma 3 then find the value of m now we are having the formula for midpoint that x is equals to x1 plus x2 by so here our x is let me write down here m by 3 x1 is minus 6 plus minus 2 upon 2 so what will happen minus 8 upon 2 uh, i think i don't have space let me write down here m by 3 equals to minus 8 upon 2 this will get cancelled and you will get minus 4 and m equals to minus 4 into 3 so you will get m equals to minus 2 so this is the value of m you can see yes a is minus 12 so this way you can solve this now these are the mcqs of standard sample paper thank you so much for watching my video if you like it please subscribe to my channel thank you so much